Caro can defense, advance, short variation with 4.nf3, e6 5.b2 and d7. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. e5 closes the center and controls the important d6 and f6 squares. Bf5 develops the bishop where it controls the important e4 square, black can play e7 e6 next, without trapping the light squared bishop on c8. Nf3 develops the knight and defends the d4 and e5 pawns. e6 defends the d5 pawn and f5 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. b2 develops the bishop, protects the knight on f3 and prepares to castle. And d7 develops the knight toward the center, controls the c5 square and attacks the e5 pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Games Master It is the final book action. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is best. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This threatens to win a pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to move a queen to safety. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. That's good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rooks are linked by this 
making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This threatens to play checkmate. It is excellent. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable rook. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a miss. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to make a rook the prize. It is incorrect. This loses a pawn. This threatens to win material. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a blunder. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to move a queen to safety. It is a mistake. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses a chance to make a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game.